Hi, my name is Lily Farrakish and I'm a fifth year Cardiff University medical student with an integrated BSc in psychology. For my dissertation, I investigated the effect of schizophrenia associated CMBs on other psychiatric phenotypes. This was with the support of my supervisor, Professor George Kirov. So, what are CMBs? These stand for copy number variants, which are rare structural DNA changes that occur due to the crossing over of highly similar neighbouring DNA repeats. And these occur at chromosomal locations called breakpoints. The diagram below here shows how two neighbouring repeats, represented by the blue boxes, become recombined, represented by the red lines, to create two new altered DNA sequences, one with a duplication at the top here and one with a deletion at below. However, as with all mutations which are highly pathogenic, these CMVs are removed from the gene pool more often than not, making the CMVs rare. This effect is heightened by reduced mortality, fecundity and fertility of the conditions they are associated with. In particular, schizophrenia CMVs are most highly implicated with neurodevelopmental disorders. However, there is currently a lack of research on the other impairments that these CMVs can cause. To address this gap, this research project aimed to analyse the effects of 13 schizophrenia associated CMVs with the following hypothesis. One, that they will increase the likelihood of psychiatric conditions such as anxiety and eating disorder, two, that they will reduce self-reported levels of happiness, and three, increase social deprivation. Moving on to the methods below, CMV and phenotype selection was done through literature reviews and data searching. Following this, the UK Biobank data was used as representative of adults in the UK to create the sample. The UK Biobank contains medical, psychiatric and psychosocial information of 500,000 people. The sample was refined through inclusion criteria, leading to a final test sample of 3,232 carriers and just over 400,000 controls. Finally, SPSS was used to conduct the analysis, with adjustments for age, sex and ethnicity. Bring your attention to the table in the middle, this shows a summary of the results. 12 out of the 13 CMVs were associated with at least one other phenotype. At the top, you can see how deletion on chromosome 1 did not have any associations. However, a duplication on chromosome 16, as indicated by my arrow here, can show that it had a number of different psychiatric conditions associated with it, as well as an increase in index of multiple deprivation. More interestingly is what the graph below reveals. In general, it shows how psychiatric disorders can be increased with any of the CMVs. Schizophrenia, as seen at the top here, has the greatest odds ratio, as would be expected. On the other hand, any addiction had an odds ratio of less than 1, which shows that there is a decreased likelihood of having an addiction compared to the controls without a CMV. An also noteworthy point in the results section is that the index of multiple deprivation was most affected with eight significant CMV associations. Levels of happiness did not have a significant decrease. In summary, being the carrier of a schizophrenia associated CMV will increase the likelihood of having anxiety, an eating disorder, bipolar disorder, depression, OCD and social deprivation. However, Opposing the hypothesis was that there was a decrease in the likelihood of an addiction and there were no changes to the levels of happiness. Important to note are the limitations of the study. Due to the small sample sizes, as can seen by the number of carriers in the table, it meant that the study power was reduced. Secondly, the reliability of the UK Biobank can be questioned as there is the risk of a healthy volunteer effect with the people who are included. This would maybe be less likely in larger samples such as GWAS. In the future, it would be important to recognise the growing contribution of rare variants to risk prediction models, as well as looking at how CMVs can be used to look at the etiology of schizophrenia as well as other psychiatric disorders. In general, genetics in schizophrenia as well as other psychiatric disorders are becoming growingly and more established as having a shared etiology. 
Thank you very much for listening and here are my contact details.